Hi all. Welcome to another lecture session of the subject power system analysis based on the KTU syllabus. And uh, here we are discussing the module 2 and the topic we are going to discuss is double line to ground fault on an unloaded generator. So uh, here you can see the circuit diagram for a double line to ground fault on an unloaded star connected generator having a grounded neutral okay and here the faulted phases are b and c you can see the fault uh, occurs here this is double line to ground fault okay so the faulted phase are b and c here so uh, of course we know the fault current will be okay the fault current if it will be if will be ib plus ic ib plus ic that is current going uh, uh, flowing through the phase b and phase c okay if will be ib plus ic and here uh, since the generator is an unloaded generator the current in phase a which means ia okay ia will be zero mainly because it is an unloaded generator okay so these are some assumptions based on the uh, given circuit here and uh, you can see uh, the voltages okay the conditions at the fault are expressed by the following equation that is vb is equal to zero vc is equal to zero okay because the phases b and c are grounded okay and ia is equal to zero i have already said because it is an unloaded generator okay and we are going to substitute the values of vb and vc in the uh, symmetrical component equation okay derived from the unbalanced components okay so here instead of vb and vc we are uh, substituting the values of zero here and by solving this matrix we will get va0 is equal to va1 is equal to va2 is equal to va by 3 where va0 is the uh, zero sequence component of the voltage at the phase a and uh, corresponding va1 will be the positive sequence component and va2 will be the negative sequence component that we know okay and uh, from the sequence network of the generator we have already learned uh, how to draw the sequence network for that is uh, positive sequence network negative sequence network and zero sequence network for a generator okay so based on that uh, we are having a matrix equation here that is va0 va1 va2 matrix va0 va1 va2 is equal to uh, matrix 0 e a 0 minus this is an impedance matrix consisting of zero sequence to impedance is at zero positive sequence impedance is at one negative sequence impedance is at two okay and uh, i a 0 i a 1 i a 2 are the corresponding uh, uh, symmetrical component of current in phase a okay and uh, from that we are writing the equation for v a 1 from this matrix equation we are writing the equation for v a 1 so we will get it as ea minus ia1 into z1 okay so we know that uh, here we already said that va0 is equal to va1 is equal to v a2 okay is equal to va by 3 so these three values are equal three uh, voltage components are equal okay so uh, in this matrix instead of this uh, VA0 and VA2 and VA1 we are going to substitute this value here okay EA minus IA1 in this set one so this matrix become this one okay and uh, after that we are just rearranging this matrix okay that is after rearranging we will get the matrix as like this okay that is uh, this matrix uh, come on the right side and this part come on the left side okay just rearranging and uh, for getting the values of ia0 ia1 and ia2 we have to eliminate this matrix here okay so if you are taking this matrix as z matrix impedance matrix z so uh, we have to multiply this entire equation with z inverse okay then only we will get the the corresponding matrix equation for ia0 ia1 and ia2 okay so for that uh, we are finding the matrix sorry inverse of the matrix is that uh, is that inverse as this okay uh, i hope all of you know how to find the 
inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix just i am showing the some steps here is that inverse can be find using the equation at the end of z by determined of z okay so uh, you can uh, refer the corresponding trans uh, transitions here transformations and uh, of, uh, at last we will get the z inverse as one matrix one by z zero 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 one by z one zero 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 one by z okay and we are going to uh, multiply this z inverse uh, with the entire equation here okay so by multiplying we will get the equation as i a 0 i a 1 i a 2 and this is the z inverse matrix into the all the existing matrix and this is also the z inverse matrix into all the existing matrix okay and uh, uh, by solving uh, this matrix okay just by multiplying these two matrices we will get we can reduce the matrix as like this okay i a 0 i a 1 i a 2 is equal to uh, this times and uh, from that we are writing the equations for ia0 ia1 and ia2 okay so ia0 will be this one and ia1 will be at last uh, uh, we will get the ia1 is equal to ia1 okay and ia2 is equal to this one so all these symmetrical compounds are represented in terms of the positive symmetrical compound of phase current ia so ia1 okay all these are ia0 ia1 and ia2 is represented in terms of ia1 okay and also we know that uh, the unbalanced uh, current okay or uh, unbalanced compound can be represented as a sum of uh, balanced compound that is symmetrical components so ia is equal to ia0 plus ia1 plus ia2 is equal to 0 that we know okay so uh, here we are going to add these equations together okay instead of ia0 we will substitute this one okay and uh, at last by uh, simply rearranging and taking outside that ia1 we will get ia1 into this uh, this term is equal to ea into z0 plus z2 by z0 into z2 okay and for uh, making a convenient equation we are going to uh, multiply it the entire equation with a term z0 z2 by z0 plus z2 okay that is for cancelling the impedance term here okay so we will get the ia1 into this term into this term okay so at last we will get ia1 into z0 z2 by z0 plus z2 plus z1 is equal to ea and from that ia1 will be equal to ea by z1 plus z0 z2 by z0 plus z2 so from this equation uh, we understand that under this fold that is double line to ground fold condition the sequence network should be connected in parallel okay sequence networks that is uh, here zero sequence network is there is it zero is there is it one is there is it two is there so all the three uh, components are there okay so the corresponding sequence networks should be connected in parallel mainly because we know that in the initial conditions we have proved that va0 is equal to va1 is equal to va2 okay so all the sequence network should be connected in parallel okay and uh, in the absence of a ground connection at the generator no current can flow into the ground at the fold so in this case z0 would be infinite and is0 would be zero and so the fold will be similar to a line to line fold okay that is the case of absence of a ground but here we are considering it as a ground so the zero sequence network is there okay so from this equation we can draw the sequence network of an unloaded generator for a double line to ground fold on phase b and c as like this okay because va1 va2 va0 all are same so these are connected in parallel okay and we know that the impedance here okay the impedance here is z1 plus z0 z2 by z0 plus z2 which means z0 and z2 is in parallel and that are connected the uh, resultant okay the equal uh, impedance is connected in series with z1 okay so here you can see z2 and z0 is in parallel and the uh, equal impedance is connected in series with z1 
okay so this is the corresponding uh, sequence network at the occurrence of this kind of fault here okay and that is actually uh, written here uh, you can go through that and here the fault current of course we know if will be equal to ib plus ic we have to find that the value of fault current also okay so for finding the value of fault current we are just considering the uh, matrix equation i a i b a c is equal to 1 1 1 1 a square a 1 a square into i a 0 matrix i a 0 i a 1 i a 2 okay and uh, from that we can find the equations for i b and i c by simply multiplying the times so i b will be equal to i a 0 plus a square i a 1 plus a i 2 uh, i c is equal to i a 0 plus a i 1 plus a square i 2 okay and we know that the fault current i f will be equal to i b plus i c so we are just adding these two equations and uh, by uh, simply taking outside the terms i a 1 and i a 2 at last we will get the fault current i f will be equal to 2 into i a 0 plus a plus a square into i a 1 plus i a 2 okay so this is the equation for fault current and this is the corresponding sequence networks at the occurrence of the double line to ground fault i hope all of you understand the uh, portion well so uh, thank you